Hey everyone, it's Val of the Huntress and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nita and I'm a psychic here on YouTube and I do pick a card readings and other spiritual based video topics. Yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget if you have subscribed to click the notification bell so every time I upload you get notified. Um, yeah, thank you for everyone who has been booking in readings with me as well and donating to my channel. Um, you know, I'm always super grateful and yeah, especially that I love, this is what I love doing. Um, if you are on my Patreon as well, um, yeah, I'm so, it's so awesome to see like all the new people over there too. Um, all my social media links, if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, all that info is down below as well, along with if you do want to book a personal reading with me, that's all. Yeah, you can find all that info down below as well. Um, cool. So, in today's reading, I, I saw that it was quite requested um, from the last video that I did. Um, I got a few comments about wanting to connect further with the dark goddesses and um, that quite a few of you found it really helpful. So I wanted to touch on this topic again. And the question I wanted to ask today um, is what is being kept secret from you? But I'm going to have the three dark goddesses for you to pick from. And then I'm going to have an extended on my Patreon to get the um, the messages that come through from the dark goddesses and then how you can connect deeper to that dark goddess that you have chosen. So this is just kind of like a, maybe like a taste of what I offer on my Patreon so you can see if it gels with you and then, you know, like if you're fully like resonating with the messages, you know, then you can like check out the Patreon over on the extended. Awesome. So... I'm going to have three piles here for you to choose from. Uh, so pile one is going to be Lilith. Uh, pile two is going to be Medusa. And pile three is going to be Persephone. Cool. So, you know, keep this here. So let's, uh, yeah, so if you feel drawn to more than one pile, feel free. But I really go, I'm really thinking go with like the, the one for like that real, that real strong message. But, you know, do, do whatever feels right for you. Pile one. Pile one, Lilith, Lilith pile. What is keep being kept, what is being kept secret from you? So we're going to look, we're going to look into this. I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose one of these. One of these ones to, to start. So I've already um, when I before I start as well. I always set up sacred space um, before I do these readings too, and I have already given thanks and invoked the goddesses um, for us as well. Um, so yeah, let's tune in. Uh, to this energy okay, I am getting I am getting uh, around your career though okay, I'm wearing that I am getting something all right so you have this card here. And show you without um, it being too glary. But goddess of the earth, an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. There's something. Uh, there's something within your career that you have been wanting to expand. You're wanting to 
there's something in your heart that you've been thinking about doing and you're wanting to put this out into the world. It's something that's very sacred and something that's very special to you. So either this, you've kind of, I can see that you've stored this idea. So either this is like a business, a um, some creative endeavor, some pursuit that you're wanting, you're wanting to, you're wanting to let out into the world. And I can see that you've kept it really close within your heart space. But it's kind of like too, like you can see in this card too how it's kind of like she's entangled. It's almost like she's, yeah, she's kind of being like bound up or she's been, um, but I'm sensing this is more of like you. I feel that there is something that you're wanting you're wanting to put out into the world. It's something that's very special to you. And I feel that maybe you have created kind of this thing around yourself or in your mind that it's kind of um, stopping you. Or you've kind of, it's like you're, you're the one that's maybe not believing in this idea or you're the one that has been holding, holding yourself back is what I'm getting. Whereas I feel like what is what is being kept like secret from you, either this idea is coming to you, but for many of you, I feel that you already have this idea. But I feel what is kept, being kept secret from you is that maybe you're, you are doubting this and you're wondering like, is it going to work? You know, is it going to pay off if I... If I put this idea into the world, is it going to, you know, are people going to like it? Are people, like there's a lot of kind of worry and fear. And I feel this is just more of what you have created, kind of just like what you've created within yourself and where it's I'm getting like it's like it's like an illusion that you've created. And maybe what has been kept kept secret from you is that it is, it is like it is an amazing idea. I feel like you know this, but maybe you needed to hear this because I feel like what has been kept secret from you is that once you unravel yourself and once you start to believe in yourself and you have the confidence, then I then I can see that it flourishing. Because it's almost like, you know, the trees don't have, you know, perhaps because this idea hasn't started yet and it's like this is an idea that you need to believe in, you need to nourish it so that it can grow, so that it can have, you know, start to grow leaves, it can start to grow flowers. But I kind of just feel that you're holding yourself back is what I'm getting. And I feel maybe because of things that haven't worked out in the past or from, you know, it's just kind of like internal fears and like, and which, you know, that, that is like, you know, and that's totally normal because we all have, we all, we're only human. We all have these fears about if things, you know, like how are things going to turn out, especially when you are so creative and you're so passionate about something and it's kind of like that releasing control and just letting what will be be and I keep just getting like this whole thing I think this whole week and all my readings I've done like on my TikToks and on like my Instagram and things there's this whole thing I kept getting from spirit saying that not everyone is going to like you and that's okay you're not going to be for everyone but the people that jar with your work and the people that resonate with your energy and what you're putting out into the world like those are the people you need to focus on rather than the people you know because yeah so it's kind of like you know if, if they don't resonate they don't resonate 
but you know there are going to be it's like if you don't put this thing out the people that do resonate and the people that you could be helping or the people that you're um, inspiring with your art or your whatever it is that you're doing or how, or it, it could even just be like something that you want to be but it's very close to your heart and you're wanting but I'm getting very strongly like it's around career this is what you're wanting to be doing in terms of your career and because it's, yeah and it's very very close to your heart it's very so letting it out into the world feels like you know, intimidating or it feels like how am I going to put this thing out when, you know, I totally have to be myself and, I, and, and I'm, yeah, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve and spirit and like your goddess, like Lilith, Lilith is saying, because she's like, Lilith is like the, the mystery. So you chose this pile, which is, I guess, is, you know, I mean, and the question, the question that we're asking is what is being kept secret from you as well. And with Lilith, it's like, she is mysterious. She, she works in a very, a very particular way in a very unknown way. So a lot of the times, um, you don't know what's going to happen, but you have to take a risk. You have to put yourself out there and you can't control how it's going to turn out, but you have to really trust and you have to really ebb and flow with the energy. There's something here about, yeah, because it's like being very fluid and this is, this is like, you know, the goddess energy of being being receptive, being open, letting your heart open to receive and being very fluid in this energy so that you are able to manifest and that the people are able to come to you. And I feel that there is a lot of mystery around this as well in terms of kind of going deeper into this and um, what she kind of like is suggesting for you to do with this. I'm also getting something about you not wanting to be seen. So there's something here where you're you're feeling like you're really you're really being encouraged. You're really being encouraged to to let this project out, to let this whatever this creative pursuit is, whatever this thing is that is in your heart, whatever you want to be doing in your career, your business. I'm definitely getting something around this. For some of you too, I am getting... This is also linked for some of you. This heart is also very linked to your heart. Yeah, this heart is very linked to love and that you're holding yourself back from love. That's just for some of you who resonate with that because it's still linked. Like your your heart is an extension of your creative pursuits, of your business. And also like a, it is a, because um, it's an extension of you because if you, you know, and if you're wanting love and if you're wanting all these things, it is about you opening your heart up and letting yourself be seen, putting yourself out there for love, even though you've been hurt before. Because it's like, I'm just kidding, like it, it's time, it's time for you to let, to release yourself and let your, let, like live your life and, and be seen. Yeah, I'm getting this really strongly. And I can, I can feel your energy in the sense that, like the hesitation. But it's kind of like, and the risk is when, the, you know, that's when it's like, the freaking like that's where the magic is so i want to go deeper into 
Medusa's message for you and how you can connect with her. And I'm going to talk about that a bit more on my Patreon. So come and join me over there if you want to, um, yeah, if you want to receive this message and I will go, yeah, and I'll talk more about how she, how her energy is and how you can connect with her to help you with this, um, with this creative thing, this creative pursuit or this, in this love, that there is love there for some of you. Um, so yeah, uh, find, you can find the link below for that, um, and come see, yeah, come join me over there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to, dis, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, um, if you'd like to book a reading as well, all that info is down below. Thank you so much for being here and letting me read for you. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Or oh, I see you on my Patreon. Hey, pal two, um, and welcome to your reading. Um, yeah, I'm just going to clear the space. That was a bit, that was a bit intense. I need some, it's clear. <laughs> Okay, so you chose um, you chose Medusa as um, your your dark goddess, and we're going to be asking the question: What has been kept? What has been kept secret from you? And then I'm going to take the extended dark goddess message onto my Patreon for you, and how you can connect with her. And go deeper and that's going to be on my patreon um which the link will be down below okay let's let's get into this what has been kept hidden from you being shown a oh shit, I'm being shown a um, a pathway I'm just going to let's see where this pathway is leading this pathway seems it's not very lit it's quite it's quite um, hmm quite dark and you don't know it's like you're walking through this kind of tunnel it could be within the earth or it's just kind of like um you walking through this tunnel and or this pathway and you're really unsure of like where am i where is this going where am i heading to i i kind of feel you have been trusting but it's almost like you can't see you can't see where it is going to lead to and what is kind of what, yeah, like where is this path going to? So let's, let's find out. Okay, you got the angel, angel of the universe as your card. And it says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. I feel on this adventure that you are on. It's almost that you don't see and what is being kept secret from you. There's something about you not seeing your whole potential and not seeing how much. It's almost like you keep, you've, it's almost like you don't see your growth and you don't see how far you have come. And it's like you've just, yeah, it's almost like you, yes, you've forgotten about, you know, some of the past and you've let that go, but it's almost like the growth and what you have done, you don't see how far you have come and what the obstacles you have overcome and the people of you have cut off and the new opportunities you had seized. And I kind of just feel that, there's something here about what has been kept secret from you is that you're not, it's like you're kind of keeping this a secret from yourself because you're not 
seeing that you literally have the whole freaking world of you have expanded so much but you just don't see it and i feel you're already on this journey like you've already been following your path following your passion you're on this really great but i feel that what is kind of like why this tunnel and why this path is dark is because you need to op open your eyes up and open open your it's kind of like this it's like tunnel vision and maybe you're like kind of just going going along but it's like there kind of needs to be this crack open in regards to like there's something massive about to change and shift for you but you need to believe it and you need to open yourself up to like the card says expanding your thinking knowing your potential knowing your worth this is what will bring in this this it's like you're doing something you're you're already doing something whether this is study or you're on this new path you're kind of going along right but it's like the belief in yourself and your perspective is what is going to break and open up this tunnel and shed some freaking light in there. It's like you literally have the whole, you have the whole universe actually, not even the world. You have the angel of the universe. You have the whole universe, anything you want, but you just, there's maybe something and like setbacks and things that have happened before or because this is taking a lot of work. So something, you know, like, and I, you know, like sometimes when we do things as well, we don't see results straight away, right? And then that, then we can get kind of like a bit um, maybe let down or we don't have as much motivation, right? But this is kind of like saying to maybe take some time to remember how far you've come, what you have achieved, and you just need to keep going. And, and the perspective change of knowing that you are on the right path, you are doing whatever it is you're meant to be doing, you, like I'm hearing, you are on the right path. This is what you're meant to be doing. But there's just something in your mind that you <clears throat> just need to shift that focus and that perspective is what I'm getting. Opening yourself up opening yourself up because we have the angel of new life an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold i think this is everything you like fucking wanted there's something there's going to be a huge breakthrough it's almost like because it's like you walking through that darkness but you're like is this, you know, am I, I can't see anything. I haven't seen the results I wanted. Is this going to be leading to, you know, what I envisioned? But it's kind of like I'm, I'm sensing there's going to be some type of what has been kept secret from you. Is it going, there is going to be a huge breakthrough and there's going to be a light coming in. But you are being encouraged, like the card said, to expand your thinking so that this shift and this change can come into your existence is what I'm getting. There's something new that is going to be entering into your life. Um, I'm going to pick some tarot. So let's, uh, let's have a look at what is this? What is this new thing? Um, just checking if that, <laughs> if that candle's okay. something that you've been um that you've been manifesting you've you've been man this manifestation that you've been working on is coming into fruition there's something you've been working on
You have put an intention into the universe of something that you wanted, whether this is in relation to to your career, whether this is, I'm getting two strong things here. I'm getting your career and I'm getting for some love, like a lover or like a, you know, a lover relationship, how are you going to call it? It's something that you have been working on and putting into place and you've been manifesting this, you've been calling it in, you've been scripting it, you've been working with the moons, you've been using fire, you've been using elements, you've been using your craft and you've been calling this shit in and this is what is coming. So you'll know exactly what it is um because it'll you know be different for everyone but i there's something that you have been manifesting and wanting to create in your life and once you allow it and you open yourself up and you fucking believe that it's going to happen that's when the shift is going to come through but you need to believe that it's going to happen you need to like shift that perspective in yourself and know that I fucking deserve this and it's coming like do you know what I mean like that intention and that will like it's coming like I you mean like it's here it's something some type of craft there's a lot of things coming through I feel like you've been manifesting a lot so you have these quite a few there's kind of some things you've been wanting and calling in. There's quite a few things here because I can see quite a few in this picture. Um, there's, a, there's quite a few different elements that you've been calling in. Interesting. This is like a snake too here. Yeah. I've never seen that on my cards before. These cards, um, the soft cards I have are so intricate that you would... You wouldn't even know you'd see me and i've probably had this card i've had these tarot this is like my first tarot i had and that was i think i've had them for like 17 years <laughs> it's a very long time it's like a child <laughs> um, or like a teenager now um i can see i'm definitely getting for some you have been calling in You've been calling in like some type of, I don't know why I heard that. Um, I'll just say a lover, but I heard something else. Um, some of you just like wanting, it's like some type of manifestation where you're wanting, you've been calling things in kind of like this harvest. So it's like to better your life, to... Um, you kind of need these things in order for you to kind of, you know, live a, um, I'm hearing, you know, even just like luxurious things or things that you need in your everyday life. So we just kind of say like abundance, money, things so you're able, you know, to, to feed yourself and to go out and things where I feel like this is like a, maybe like a lifestyle thing or something where it's like abundance, even like some of you, um, could be working on something in terms of like building some new craft and could be study or something. Um, so you're wanting help with that, but yeah, but Medusa is definitely coming in too here. Um, this is, this is what's been kept secret from you is you maybe were thinking, I can't see it. It's not coming into my existence. Um, when is it coming? I feel maybe you've been working on this for quite a, a long time, but it says an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. I'm definitely getting like love too. Let me pick one more card. So that is the secret that is, um, that is coming in for you. Things are going to change. Yeah. Don't let your mind get in the way of this. Like, believe it's going to happen. We have the high priestess here. You know that it's coming. You know that you've been calling it in. You know 
you can sense something is about to change, but because you haven't seen the results or you haven't seen things, I'm sensing massive, massive change for you. And it's like you're going to let go of the limiting beliefs that you couldn't get this thing, you weren't good enough, you know, all those things that we tell ourselves. And it's like you've called in this life and it's coming. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of fire elements coming through here. So huge transformational energy is what I'm picking up on. Huge trans light. And this could even be pushy too with Medusa because you have done some transformational stuff on yourself and that's why it's it's saying to expand your thinking because you've come you've gone through so many elevations you've gone through so much shifts and change and um restructuring in your body restructuring your dna restructuring your mind and this this is just a reminder to don't let those old fears those that old mindset come back because you've been working on this and you deserve it so keep going back, back to the intention, back to the intention, read over your, read over like what you've written um, so you can remind yourself and like keep grounding yourself in that, in that energy, in that vibe. Because I see you transforming, letting shit go and standing in what you have called in and you're ready to accept it is what I'm getting. It's like freaking amazing so powerful know that you deserve it and on the extended now i'm going to go into the dark goddess's message for you and um, medusa's message and how you can connect deeper to her if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um don't forget to subscribe if you want to book a reading with me as well you can um, find all the details down below come check out my patreon and yeah and we can talk about um the messages for you and how to connect deeper. Thank you so much for letting me read for you and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Okay, pile number three. You chose um you chose Persephone. I was just thinking about what I'm gonna have for dinner. <laughs> Okay, pile three, what is being kept secret from you? And then on my extended, um, we're going to go into the dark goddesses for the messages for you and how you can connect deeper, um, deeper to her. it out interesting this was in this card was in my other um and my other pick a card the what type of lover are you okay I'm trying to show you without like the ring light kind of a new chap the goddess of the unknown i love it a new chapter of your life is around the corner Remove fear and embrace the unknown because you can't see it. Okay, let's see. I'm being told. Sorry, I was like, I'm just trying to. Just getting a sore neck. Okay. I'm being told that. There's something here where in your dream time is coming through. I feel like your dreams have been very vivid as of, as of very, very recently. And you've been getting a lot of visions, but they haven't made sense. I feel like you've been traveling to a lot of past um, lives. You've probably been seeing like a lot of people too. And you don't know who these people are. 
This is because it's getting ready for you to transition into the next period. You're doing a lot of, you're doing, you went through a recent, another, you went through a recent transformation and the dreams are coming through because they're just, um, there was just some more clearing that needed to be, um, okay. I'm hearing the clearing that's coming through from your dream time. Um, there's just some things clearing through like your chakras through your energy points, but they're also being cleared because I'm being, yeah, especially like your third eye is coming through. Um, but this is in terms of a new, it's because you're opening up to another like psychic gift is what I'm getting. There's something very, so we have the, uh, this is the angel of psychic ability here too. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. I feel like you, you are kind of going through this stage where your gifts are being heightened and something new is coming into, into your kind of like existence, into your being. It's something that is like ancestral for sure. And it's a part of like your lineage. So this gift is being amplified at this time. So you're kind of being in this stage where it's probably felt a bit like what is happening next, I can't see. And this is because of the, um, you're kind of getting used to this energy is what I'm being told because you're opening up to a higher, um, I'm hearing a higher, a higher perspective of living and this is because it's going to help you to manifest and bring in the things that you do want so this gift is not only helping you in terms of like psychic awareness mediumship and these type of things it's also helping you yeah like these gifts are getting stronger but it's also helping you in the sense that you're opening up to changing this frequency of calling in the life that you're wanting is what i'm getting There's something here coming through here. Yeah. You've been feeling confused. You don't know what's going on. Your energy feels feels off and that's why, because you're getting used to this, like I said, you're getting used to this new shift, this new frequency. You can't see it, but this is helping you because there's something here where you're kind of, kind of, uh, Crossing the threshold, I'm hearing. Crossing the threshold. There's something about the eyes. I've got eyes, eyes, eyes. I'm literally feeling... There's a lot of people watching you. <laughs> There's like eyes, eyes, <laughs> eyes. There's a lot of people watching you. Whatever you do, whatever you're doing, whether this is through the internet, social platforms, um, your work, just people around you, there's a lot of attention, a lot of eyes on you is what I'm getting. A lot of attention on me. There's something here about trusting yourself, trusting the process. It's kind of like I feel you know things, but maybe when you listen to other people, you're like, nah, that's not what I, what I know to be. Or there's something where when people either are giving their opinions or are just, yeah, something like this, that I kind of feel that, it's like they're saying you're elevating what you know is true, what, yeah. There's something in your life that you have been questioning and, okay, this is random coming through. It's not random, but it's coming through. There's something in your life that you have been thinking about. Whether you are doing pick a card readings, this is what I'm getting, or whether this is 
someone has been telling you something or friends or whatever and it doesn't something doesn't match up or when you hear like say like a reading you're like yeah that so resonates but something else said it wasn't going to happen or this wasn't true there's something here where it's like you know the truth and it's this card is saying trust your feelings over what others say so because you're elevating because your gifts are opening up even more and you you already know things there's something here just coming to really trust yourself because you know what's up you know the there's an i really don't like going but it keeps coming up in the readings so i'm just going to say it as it's coming through there's this thing too where you're shining you're very strong you're very psychic you're on point you know what's up there's something that you're doing in your craft and people are very intimidated by you and there's a lot of eyes watching you and like i probably seen the other reading too people are threatened by your gifts and yeah but i really don't like going into this too much because i went into it for but we'll just like we'll just because it's come through People threatened by your gifts, there is envy here too. So you probably already felt this anyway. And probably like judgment too, but who gives a fuck? These people. So it's just what's kind of like coming through. And if someone says whatever this thing is that you want to do isn't going to work, or I feel like maybe don't tell again, it's maybe don't discuss things with people about what is um what your goals are, what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to manifest. I feel like you know this, but this is a reminder. Because not everyone is going to agree with your vision. Not everyone's going to support it or they're going to be jealous of it. And keeping it to yourself, keeping your manifestations to yourself and your goals is going to give it power. Remove fear. Put up your boundaries, light your candles, and like no one can do shit to you anyway. We already know that. Um, but just keep remembering because you're going through a transition. You're going, you know, you're shifting into this this new energy. Keep grounding yourself. Keep clearing yourself is important. Um, so you're just stabilizing your own energy and not picking up on other people's stuff. And because you'll be and because you're getting a lot of attention as well. And then we got the angel of yeah, angel clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So that's kind of what I was sensing that you're kind of feeling confused. You don't really know. You can't really see what's happening. But I am sensing that this what has been kept secret from you to, I don't know, because the channeling I've covered so much, but yeah, there was that thing about um, this gift, this new gift coming in. And because there's something very strongly here about your recent transformation and your recent, um, this recent shift that you went through and that you don't know what's happening next, but there's this thing here with your gifts and there's something here too around you knowing or you, excuse me, you having like a path of what you wanted to do and what, and what you feel is right for you. And maybe you kind of think like, is it going to happen? Is it legit? Like, or am I just actually just dreaming this thing and it's like unrealistic or something there's something because it's coming through to let let go of logic and trust your intuition is coming through so that's kind of why i was kind of feeling that there's something here in regards to your psychic work your healing work that is going to massively shift and open up for you and that what has been kept secret from you too is kind of that thing where you, like I was getting to trust yourself, even though it's like you have a sense of what is going to happen, but you can't see it. And there's kind of, you're going back to your logical mind to rationalize that 
oh fuck like I can't I can't really see because because sometimes spirit will hide things from us in order for like these lessons <laughs> where you can't see even though you're psychic and it's on purpose because it's teaching you to trust and it's like you have a feeling you know but you're feeling confused and it's like I know what's going to happen but things aren't really swaying like going in that way these other this other shit's happening or whatever's going on that's not you know is this going to work should I keep going but it's like but then it's like deep down you know but you can't see the results and the messages about you letting go of logic and trusting your own intuition and not listening to what other people you know like trusting your feelings that were saying over what others say is very very important for you okay so um let me see if there's anything else coming through before i take this into the extended i think i'm gonna um yeah i think i'm gonna take this into the let me pick a few more cards for you guys these readings are like this reading went quite long actually okay i mean like the whole reading because i did the extended as well Been hidden. It's your manifestation. There's something you've been manifesting to. Ah, dear. Okay, we're the death card. like I'm hearing you're not even going to like recognize how your life is going to be because this is like what you wanted it's like you're going to be a whole different person yeah you're going to get everything you wanted I feel there's like success here you're going to be like gifted there's going to be like this gift coming through I feel it's in terms of what of your work and what you've been trying to like manifest okay that one came out here the star what did i say it was definitely something around your work and the platform and everyone watching you yeah so we have the death the six of discs the success and then the star card <laughs> do i need to say any more oh yeah actually still come still come over to my patreon <laughs> <laughs> for Persephone's message and how to connect with her. So this is to do with like you you fully transforming. This energy feels weird, but you are going to be transforming into what you have been working towards. And that's in terms of like this gift. And you totally, you're just going to be so different. I'm so excited. And finally, giving, being given the rewards for what you have been working towards. And then you'll be more stabilized in this gift as well, in this light, in that new, that new awareness, that new psychic gift that you've, that you've, um, that you've been like, that's been, been transitioned into your body that I was talking about. So you're going to be successful. You're going to be successful in your work for sure. It's like, I love that. I love this energy. So let's um, take this over on the Patreon and see what Persephone has to say and how you can connect with her deeper. And I'm going to channel that through. Um, if you lo loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my content. If you would like to book a reading with me as well, um, yeah, you can find that down below. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, share this video if you think someone will benefit from it. And come check out my Patreon if you yeah want to get deeper into this. And I'll see you there. See you guys.